Hello and welcome back to the World's RV Show going on now at Motorhome Specialist, the number one volume selling dealership in the world with one location. My name is Donnie O'Banion and today I'm here with Barry Hughes, the regional sales representative for the Class C division of Thor Motor Coach. And uh, he's going to be walking us around uh, one of our most popular models that we sell here at Motorhome Specialist, our Sprinter Diesel Chateau Citation. Well, thank you again, Donnie. Uh, this segment of the marketplace has really expanded over the last uh, couple of years. Uh, kind of the uh, uh, inclination for good fuel economy, ergonomics, curb appeal. This is a little more discriminate buyer. This is someone that most likely has had a coach before. Truly right. is kind of zeroed in on what they want. We build this thing exclusively on the uh, Mercedes diesel. Uh, it was badged as a Freightliner and as a Dodge prior to 2010, but now it is exclusively uh, Mercedes. Uh, when they went through the, uh, um, the the mandatory change with the emissions, right? They're one of the few engines or companies that actually were able to increase horsepower and increase uh, torque when they added the def for the uh, um, when they added the DEF tank def tanks to the coaches. Right. So performance has in improved on them tremendously. Uh, I'm going to show you a new floor plan to the marketplace in the last couple of years. It by uh, statistically is the number one selling floor plan offers great utility of the space. We're kind of limited to how big we can be on this chassis and at 24 feet, we're gonna get the most out of it. Right. Okay. Full body paint. Uh, it's a huge plus, it's a huge hook for the customer that's looking at this segment. They like the curb appeal, as I said before. They like the, the styling and the design. It's a coach they can park in their driveways for the most part because this person may live in a condominium or a gated community. Fiberglass running boards, fiberglass transitions to a, the a one piece cap in front a low center of gravity, if you will, good uh, fuel economy based on its styling. It's a little narrower than a conventional C, a little uh, shorter, a little uh, not as tall as the conventional C. Right. Again, Thor trademarks, grab handle on the inside, grab handle on the outside. Unique to us in this product, again, full body paint, but I've got side swing doors. They're insulated, kind of the same, uh, uh, design, if you will, that we use in our diesel product. It's easier to get in and out of the coach in terms of storing, and again. And I believe it's the side swing baggage doors throughout, right? That is correct, that is correct. So a lot easier access to get to the bays. And what are you making the bays out of? That's, uh, we call it a rotocast material. Okay. Same kind of uh, composition, it's the equ equal thicknesses all the way through, it's a spun material. Uh, the airlifts, when they uh, airlift supplies to various places across the world, that's the material these compartments are these, uh, uh, containers are used. It's lighter weight, won't scratch up, and really easy to clean. Exactly. Very durable. Very durable. Again, side swing doors throughout. Everything is uh, self-contained. I've got a generator on this coach. This particular one offers a diesel generator, which is probably the optimal uh, choice in uh, auxiliary power. Right. So, uh, And uh, we bring all of our uh, coaches here at Motorhome Specials in with the diesel gens. Exactly. Exactly. Again, storage rules supreme. So wherever I can, I'm taking advantage of all of the space. So storage in the back. Again, full body paint, I'm using stainless steel fasteners so I can put the door up and it latch to the uh, side of the coach. This, this person is probably a, a two or three or a four day tripper. They might take the coach going golfing. I got plenty of room for three or four sets of golf clubs accessible from either the side and yeah. or the back. The coach is going to measure about what, 23, 24 feet? 24 feet. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, to still have a bay of this size with that kind of length on it, I mean, not to mention all of the, you know, the, the bottom the storage, but for, like I said, uh, it's kind of like the last unit that we looked at. Y'all have so many storage bays that are up above the, the, the actual chassis rails uh, to just make easier access and build those compartments the way. Part of the appeal of our coach to the buying public is compared to some of the other manufacturers that build on this chassis, we have three to four times the storage capability. So we're using all that, what would typically in some other manufacturers be wasted space. And then of course this particular floor plan, I mean the, the key feature of the floor plan is of course the rear slide out. I've got uh, on this short 24 foot uh, chassis, I've got two slides. Again, I'm incorporating the Schwintec slide mechanism. I'm going to bring the bed out the back. So I've got five or four feet of brand new unused space. Still gives you the ability to tow a small cargo trailer or a car behind you uh, and not inhibit the uh, operation of the bed while you're 
would need to use it. Uh, automatic awning, we kind of pass by. Uh, gives you the ability to open that awning. It should be raining and not get wet and be able to use the campsite space outside the coach. And I noticed that this one actually has uh, the metal wrap around the outside where you can't uh, snag the uh, vinyl you know, on a tree limb exactly. pulling into a park. It's, it's the best way to protect your awning. With that metal wrap, uh, it keeps the sun off of it too. And the sun is uh, one of those things that can damage over a period of time the canvas. And the power awning on this unit, is it standard or optional? This is an option. Okay. Fiberglass rear cap in front and back, uh, very stylish in the back. You notice I have my slide topper across the back of the coach also. Remember that application is to prevent leaves and twigs and debris from getting into the mechanism and keep the uh, wipe good. It seals when it's out, it seals when it's in, keeps the rain off the, the uh, compartment, and it keeps the sun off this room. So again, we're protect, protecting it from all the elements. And uh, y'all went to an LED brake light? LEDs is the wave of the future, and obviously this is being a Mercedes, kind of an upscale vehicle. Uh, it's right. how moving forward we're going to do a lot of our vehicles. High visibility, great reliability. You don't have a single ball burn out and lose all the uh, fu functionality. Camper's Corner is back here in the back. Everything's exhausting to the uh, roadside. Unique with our coach is everything is in one compartment. So this is heated and enclosed. I have the water input with a, a, a pressure regulator. I have the ability to dump my gray and black, and it's a rotating 90 degree angle. I have the ability to store the sewage hose all in one location, and I have the outside shower. So everything is done with the exception of electric in one compartment. Great ease of use. And again, I say it's heated and enclosed. Everything we build has a water tank above the floor line. So the uh, motorhome specialist brings these in with uh, uh, heat pads so they can be used year-round. Right. I put that on everything that, uh, that y'all build for us. Right, uh, right. Any Class C. Again, one more example of taking a, the best use of uh, storage. My electric cord is uh, housed in this compartment. I do have a pass-through here, which the ladder is stored for the bunk inside. Um, the the ladder is currently inside the coach. A great use of space otherwise not taken advantage of by some of the other users of this chassis. Second slide is the bump out, if you will, is where the sofa is housed inside. Probably the best use of space, in my opinion. Rave reviews from the buyers uh, about how the floor plan is laid out. Uh, nice, comfortable seating for everyone inside. And the ride and drive on these are just exceptional. And, and the diesel engine, I mean, it's just unbelievable how quiet it is every time you get in one. And it's one of the, the better ride and drives, period. Uh, my own personal preference, you know, even the, you know, the big diesels, you know, I like the tag axle ride once you get into the big diesel pushers, but um, when it gets into the Class Cs, I mean, it's just one of your favorite rides. You just wanna take a short trip, um, you know, go some place, I mean, this, I mean, literally, it's, it's like a, a luxury vehicle. It really you know, is. Just hop into a car, so, just so easy to drive. We, we frequently say this might be your first Mercedes, but the ride is truly phenomenal. Very effortless. A lot of people making the transition from big to small gravitate to this because of the fuel economy, because of the ride, because of the great use of space inside. It is diesel. I think we touched on that, just so that you know that. It is diesel. Um, diesel drives both the generator and the coach. Um, easy transition into the coach. Seats swivel around, which is a unique uh, amenity of several of the Mercedes chassis. We'll see how much advantage that is in terms of utility and use inside when we go around on the and other side. And a unique use of the, the door here, it's actually a, a locking uh, <laughs> fuel door, uh, just simply all, you know, just closing the door. It doesn't have to have a key or anything else. It just uses the door itself as a, exactly. as a lock for the, for the fuel door. Good sleek design, good eye appeal. As I said, full body paint really makes this coach stand out. And as far, you know, to touch on the ride and drive just a little bit more, um, these are the only Class C models available in the industry that have an independent front suspension system, correct? That's correct. That's correct. So, I mean, that's, um, you know, that's something that, you know, that's usually reserved, uh, you know, even um, with the coach that we're selling, 
I think they're going to start off at um, about 320, 330,000 uh, retail before you start to see independent front suspension systems. Exactly. Again, more discriminant buyer. This coach has a five-year, 100,000-mile drivetrain warranty, which says a lot about the product we bring to market. We're comfortable, as is the manufacturer, that you're going to get good service out of the, the vehicle. It's just an incredible coach, and when you're talking about, you know, less than $100,000. Exactly. You know, well, you know, well under a $100,000 price point, and to have that kind of ride in the diesel generator, the diesel engine, um, is a great value. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and take a peek inside, Donnie. Let's do it. Electric entrance steps on this one. Right. Uh, Chassis is up just a little higher off the, uh, off the ground than the conventional Class C, so we're sure. going to have the more conventional entryway. There's only a few things we can do with the amount of space in here. We felt like we've uh, kind of capitalized and, and taken the best use of space. Um, this is the slide in lieu of a fixed dinette. We're, we're bringing in a very comfortable slide that makes into a bed. Uh, there's storage below for linens and other things that you might feel the necessity to bring along. Cabinetry, we've got storage behind the sofa. And this is an air mattress hide bed so it flips over. So if sleeping uh, for an additional one or two people can easily be accommodated. If the slide is in, great viewing is available by moving the TV. It's on a swivel, so it slides back and forth. Uh, in my opinion, the best seat in the house is the passenger seat spun around. <laughs> And that's something that they just recently started doing uh, a year or two ago when right. they introduced the swivel seats. Um, and uh, you're starting to see it uh, integrate itself into the classy industry, but still primarily just in the Sprinter diesels that e you're going to see exactly. swivel seats. Exactly. Solid surface countertops. Again, it's a small coach, so I'm taking the best use of this small space, giving you as much work area as possible. Sink cover. Really large sink basin, though. And, and higher end uh, faucet fixtures exactly. you know, used in this coach. And the round, you know, the wood itself, you know, being the round radius wood, uh, just uh, gives it a much higher end look and feel. And of course, you know, the, the round corners, you know, when you're dealing with such a small space, you know, having the rounded corners just makes getting in and out of the coach just utilizes the space so much better. Exactly, exactly. Convection microwave or half time as you will. Again, space is the most important thing. Kind of a trademark again is a slide, uh, full, full drawer extension, metal slide glide. So we pull out the entire length of the coach. You can't get things lost behind the drawer. Best use of space. I've got soft touch vinyl throughout the coach. We've got fluorescent lights, a high end feel. Uh, it helps insulating the coach, but also kind of shows it off. Uh, good utility and good space in here. Now the skylight in these are, are really cool too. Uh, I've got a power button uh, here at the entrance as well as uh, there at the, uh, at the skylight itself. And it's made of that, uh, that plastic canopy that is, um, doesn't absorb heat, you know, it does, doesn't get hot. It's like the same type of material that uh, an airplane canopy is made out of. Exactly. So it doesn't uh, emit a lot of heat even though it's a big hole <laughs> in the top of this thing. But it's, uh, it also does have a, a solar uh, shade that works with it uh, along with the nightshade that you can close off but um, you know again you can let in a lot of extra air from from outside uh, just by uh, just opening up the the skylight you know, it's just a power power switch on it so anytime, really cool feature anytime you can let natural light into the coach it's going to make it feel bigger brighter and more uh, uh, enjoyable inside okay let's go back and take a look at the back you the got bedroom it. back here in this coach, uh, one of the three things that we attempted to accomplish or overcome, uh, kind of the Achilles heel in the past has been not a, a full-size bed. With the ability to go out the back of the coach, I have a walk-around queen in this small 24-foot floor plan, something that we're not able to accomplish in a lot of other coaches. Um, I still got nice Lamberkin. I still have my AC outlets for CPAC, CPAC machines. I've got cross ventilation. Um, I've got an optional bedroom TV. I notice it's got speakers mounted up underneath there as well. So I'm able to play the radio in front and listen to it in back and control that. Uh, just good utility of the space. Anytime I can add functionality to the coach and not have to uh, add length to it, so to speak, <laughs> right. uh, we're taking advantage of it. 
I've got it in this coach also. It is the um, uh, fantastic fan. Gives us the opportunity to uh, kind of add air flow to the coach, open the side windows, and kind of draw out without having to run the air conditioner. Great for spring and fall camping. Again, fluorescent lights and uh, soft touch vinyl. The third thing that's probably the most appealing is a very unique approach to the bathroom. This coach just doesn't typically have uh, a lot of accessibility from the bathroom or the use of the bathroom. And what I've done here is I've got a corner shower, I've got my porcelain commode, and I've expanded almost by two times the amount of area that you can utilize in the bathroom by this unique trifold door. So what I've done is I've closed off the coach for privacy, giving you a much bigger space to uh, use the facilities, shower, uh, brush your teeth, still have access to the uh, closet here beside us, towel storage, not a very... and drawers down below. So everything is functional, so I'm kind of doubling down, if you will, utilizing the same amount of space for two or three applications. And as you can see, Donnie's now and opening course, the door. And of course it works as a privacy door out here to close off the master suite and the, the bathroom from your guests. Exactly. Again, good use of space. Because um, it's a small coach, but I mean, surprisingly, I mean, it sleeps more than a lot of 40, 42 foot diesels. I mean, you've got one bed here, you've got this one that pulls out into an air mattress. And then of course, in this particular model, because you can order it with either the cab over entertainment center. That's correct. Which will be a, uh, a television uh, overhead up here. But of course, in this particular floor plan, it's not needed because you've got the large feature wall television. And with the swivel seats, it makes a lot more sense in this floor plan to definitely opt in the, the extra sleeper or, or storage, of course. When we, uh, when we opt this way, it does come with a ladder to be, utilize it as a, a sleeping compartment. So there's a ladder that's stored underneath. Um, lots of uh, headroom, if you will. Um, but to kind of, again, double down on the, the usable space in the floor, I've got two, two locations that I can plug a table into in front of the, in front of the uh, sofa. I'll demonstrate one of them. Yeah, but this is where, of course, you can sit down for, for your dinner table. Right. And then uh, uh, you can also set it up over here, over here, which is what's really unique about what y'all done. You've started to do this more and more, even in the Class A gas. I started to see it in, in more and more units, but great use of uh, space. You know, being able to use your two captain's chairs, you know, also as a place to sit down, eat, have, you know, have your drink. And, and still leave this, this wide open space right here because, I mean, you still have complete access out of the coach, you know, inside. And, you know, you've got two really nice, comfortable chairs there. They've got lumbar built into them. Absolutely. Great use of space, in my opinion. Again, you can sit here and dine. Someone can be sitting on the sofa. We can move the TV uh, in and out. Uh, both seats swivel around, as Donnie has mentioned. Um, again, just taking the least amount of space and giving it the most application. And of course, the cab itself, you know, and the uh, and the Sprinter, I mean, just comes with a with a lot of a lot of features. The seats, as we mentioned, swivel around. Standard Mercedes standard Mercedes uh, instrumentation. Everything comes standard with the um, the backup camera. It is that Pioneer with multiple functionalities. Good use of space. Cup holders where you need them storage where you need it, great fuel economy. We're seeing these coaches in uh, feedback that people are getting fuel economy in the mid-teens. Unbelievable, unbelievable. And it's a five-speed automatic transmission? Five-speed automatic with a V6 turbo. Uh, Mercedes is kind of an unparalleled uh, driving experience and we we just put a motor home uh, on that chassis. Well, it's an incredible coach. And like you said, I'm, as uh, uh, the, the floor plan uh, has been really, really well received by our customers early on. Um, as you know, I mean, it's the last one I've got left in stock. You gotta right. Build, you got to build me some more. <laughs> not, not a problem. We'll We've... keep them coming. <laughs> Thanks again so much for watching. We'll be back next with uh, Art Rivard and uh, Thor Motor Coach Hurricane.